Hey guys, we're here for video six, which is photosynthesis, and this one's going to be really linked uh, closely with video seven, so um, you might want to refer to these two both together sometimes. Um, now, photosynthesis is the trapping of sun's energy to create it into a chemical energy that can be used by the plant. Uh, basically, I like breaking it up into two parts, so if you look at it, photo part, photo means light, Synthesis means to make. So now, photosynthesis means to make something using light. Basically, we're going to use sunlight to create a sugar called glucose. Now, here's the formal definition. Photosynthesis converts the energy of sunlight into chemical energy stored in the bonds of glucose, which is C6H12O6 and oxygen. Now, this equation down here is something that you need to remember for the test. You will be quizzed on it on the test, and you'll have to regurgitate that back for me. And it basically is 6CO2 plus 6H2O goes to 6H12O6 plus 6O2. Now, what these terms mean is here. 6O, CO2 is carbon dioxide. That's what you breathe out. Um, H2O is water. You also breathe that out. Uh, 6H12O6 is glucose. Glucose is a sugar, and if you remember when we talked about carbohydrates, anytime you see this O-S-E ending, you should think of it as a sugar. So glucose is a carbohydrate, which is a sugar. And then oxygen. So a plant makes oxygen, which we need to survive, plus glucose, which is basically plant food. Now I like to think of glucose as the plant's food and oxygen as the plant's poop because it's waste products. But without that energy or without that uh, waste product, we wouldn't be able to survive. Now, when we look at photosynthesis, here's the equation again. Uh, I like adding three things over, over or under the arrow. You might see these on the, on the test, uh, on, my, on my chapter test, with lines under the arrow. Just because I got carbon dioxide and water, which I breathe out carbon dioxide, you know, if I get water... I mean, I've got water here, and I blow on it. I don't make glucose, and I don't make oxygen, so there must be something else that needs to be made or needs to be there. You need to have light. Usually, we're thinking about sunlight. You need to have enzymes. Remember, enzymes speed up chemical reactions, and you need chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a green pigment that its main purpose is to capture sunlight. So without these three things and oxygen, I mean, carbon dioxide and water, you can't get to the glucose and oxygen. Now, just a refresher here, I like to talk about raw materials and products. Sometimes you'll see questions asked on the EOC, and they'll ask, what are the raw materials? Raw materials will always be on the left of the arrow, this side, and sometimes they will ask, what well, are the products of the equation? The products will always be on the right side of the arrow. So the products are what you end up with. The reactants or the raw materials are what you start with. Okay? Now, here's just a picture form of this. You see light plus carbon dioxide plus water added to the, pink, the, the chlorophyll of the leaf that has the enzymes in it. You're going to create carbohydrates. Now, remember these carbohydrates right here. This is actually glucose, a sugar, and oxygen. So these two things are released. Now, there are two types of organisms when we talk about photosynthesis. always comes into mind. We have to think about autotrophs. Auto means self, so troph means the self-feeder. Autotroph is a self-feeder. That means they make their own food, either through photosynthesis or chemosynthesis. Now, I told you photosynthesis means we use light to make food. Chemosynthesis, we're going to make use chemicals. Oh, I can't spell. Chemicals to make food. Uh, now, chemosynthesis, I can think of one organism that does chemosynthesis. That would be two worms that live on hydrothermal vents underneath the oceans. It's so deep that light can't penetrate that deep, and they use the chemicals that come out of the hydrothermal vent to produce their food. Now, we often think of plants as being autotrophs. You are not an autotroph. You are a heterotroph. Now, hetero 
Anytime you see hetero, it means different or other. It means different or other. All right, so it's a different or other feeder. It means it's going to eat other organisms, like you, for example. You eat other things. You don't, you don't say, hmm, I wish I had a steak. Boom, and it appears in your stomach. You actually have to eat or consume the food in order to get the nutrients out of it. So we are heterotrophs. Now, let's look a little bit at photosynthesis, and this will be the last little part. There are two parts of photosynthesis, and I like to break it down like this. You have the light-dependent reaction. The light-dependent reaction is exactly what it says. It depends on light, so it's going to require light. Now, this, during the light-dependent reaction, we have what's called photolysis curve. Now, once again, photo is going to be light. Now, lysis, anytime you see lysis, I like to think of the word split. So this is going to be using light to split something. And what it actually splits is photolysis splits water. Now, when you split water into hydrogen and oxygen, it releases oxygen. So the light-dependent reaction makes oxygen. Now, I like to think of this part as the photo part of photosynthesis. Okay? Now, the other part is the light-independent reaction. That means it's independent of light. It does not need light to go. Now, back when I was in school a long, long time ago, it actually used to be called the dark reaction, but this is a misconception because if it's set, called a dark reaction, you think it takes place at nighttime, but that's not true. It's light independent. It means it could take place in darkness, but it just doesn't need light to go. You often hear it called either a Calvin cycle or light independent reaction, so it does not need light to go. Now, this process is where actual glucose is made. So if we look at photosynthesis, the photo part is the light dependent reaction and the synthesis part is the light independent reaction. The photo part is going to use light to make oxygen. The synthesis part is going to, to uh, doesn't need light, but it's going to need the byproducts that are made to make glucose. Okay. Now, just a little side note on chemosynthesis. If you look on page 68, it actually shows you a picture of those hydrothermal uh, tube worms that I was talking about. So not all, just realize that not all autotrophs have to have the sun's energy in order to make food, and tube worms are an example. All right, I hope this helps you out, and I hope video 6 is helpful. Remember, video 6 and video 7 are linked together. So anyway, have a good one.